So the Fitbit Versa 2 was recently released and we've gotten a lot of questions about the actual Wi-Fi on the watch itself. So we decided to do a quick video showing you guys how to get connected to the Wi-Fi in case you skipped it during the initial setup or if you want to change the Wi-Fi or if you're just having issues, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot any kind of Wi-Fi problems you may be having. Let the download begin. So if you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. So the Fitbit Versa 2 was recently released. We actually did a cool review on that particular smartwatch. You can check it out. I'm going to have a link in the description of this video and also put it in a card up above. After you finish watching this video, of course, go ahead and check that out if you're considering purchasing the Versa 2. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi on that watch in case you skipped it initially. And I'm also going to show you how to troubleshoot any issues you may be having if you already have the Wi-Fi set up or if you want to change the Wi-Fi that it's connecting to on the Versa. So now just some quick information information on what the capabilities of the Wi-Fi for the Versa is. It can actually connect to just about almost any kind of Wi-Fi signal or connection you have available. It can't connect to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal connection, and it doesn't connect to public Wi-Fi connections as well, but it will connect to a portable hotspot. If you create a portable hotspot with your phone or tablet or any kind of LTE device, it will have the ability to connect to that. So now, like I said, you're usually prompted to do a connection to the Wi-Fi when you do the initial setup, but if you skip that particular step, you can actually just go into the Fitbit app itself Make sure you're on the Today User tab. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the image in your profile. You're gonna go ahead and select your watch and then you have a Wi-Fi setting option there. So if you tap that Wi-Fi setting, you're gonna then have the ability to add a network that appears on screen. So if you don't have any networks already added, you can add your network by going into that particular tab. It's going to take you step-by-step step through what you need to do to add your connection. And all you really need to do is know your particular Wi-Fi network name that you're connecting to and the password to that network as well. Let's say you wanna change the Wi-Fi that it's connecting to, one of the first things you should know is that your watch can actually support up to five different Wi-Fi connections and it automatically connects to the Wi-Fi that's available. If there are two or more Wi-Fi's that are available within range, then you can actually just go into the Fitbit Versa app and choose which one you want the watch to actually be connected to. So you can store up to five and you can choose the best one that suits your needs for that time being. And the watch is just basically gonna connect to it automatically, whether it's charging or on your wrist. So now to change the Wi-Fi setting or information, you're basically going to go into the same place. You're going to click on your profile image in the Today app. You're going to go to your watch. You're going to tap Wi-Fi setting. If you wait a moment for everything to pop up and then you select the Wi-Fi option that you want to adjust and then you can make the changes to the Wi-Fi name, connection type, or even the password in that particular setting. So again, that's if you want to change any kind of Wi-Fi information. Let's say you updated your password or changed your Wi-Fi name. You want to make sure your watch is still connecting automatically the way it's supposed to. You can go into those settings and make that adjustment there. Now, if you set everything up properly and your watch just isn't connected to the Wi-Fi the way it's supposed to, a couple of troubleshooting steps you can actually take is just connecting your watch to the charger. So if your watch is not connected to Wi-Fi, connect it to the charger. Make sure all your Wi-Fi settings first is set up correctly inside the app itself. If those are good, connect your watch to the charger, move it a little bit closer to your modem or router and see if the watch connects through there. That can help the watch get connected to your Wi-Fi signal. Once it's connected to the signal itself, then you can move the watch to any location in your home and you should be fine. So that's all well and good, but what if you go into your app itself and you're trying to add your Wi-Fi connection, but you're just not seeing it there or you're unable to add the Wi-Fi in that particular option in the Fitbit Versa app? Some of the things you can actually do to fix that is you wanna try resetting your watch. So just doing a full reboot of the watch itself can help with that issue. And all you really need to do is hard press the button that's on the Fitbit watch. You're gonna wait until it completely powers down. Once it completely powers down, give it a couple of seconds and then press that button again to power back up. Wait for the Fitbit logo to disappear and your time to return on the face of the watch. Once it's there, then you wanna go back into the application and try to add your signal once more. If you're still not seeing it there, we're gonna move on to another step. So another option you could do is having your device forget the Versa watch itself. So on the iPhone, you can go into your Bluetooth settings. There's usually a little eye option there. You click that eye option and you have to forget watch option that's on top. On the Android settings, you're just going to hit those three little buttons on top and you would forget the device. It's basically just unpairing the watch from your mobile device. Then you go into your Fitbit app again after the watch is repaired and then trying to add that Wi-Fi signal once more and see if that helps with the problem. Now, if all that doesn't work, one of the other things you can do is just try factory resetting the watch itself. And that is pretty easy as well. You're going to go into the settings of the actual watch in the about option and you scroll all the way down to the bottom. You have a reset option there. Go ahead and reset the 
the watch itself fully uninstall the Fitbit Versa app from your device and start from scratch. So you're going to reinstall the Fitbit Versa app after the watch has been reset. Once it's reset, then you're going to go through the process of actually setting up the watch as brand new and you should have the option to set up the Wi-Fi initially when the watch is being set up from scratch and then you should be able to see your Wi-Fi signal there. Make sure you're close enough to your router again so the signal is strong enough for the watch to detect but that should resolve your issue. If you're still having issues connecting to your Wi-Fi, make sure you check that other devices in your home could connect to the Wi-Fi with no issues. If it's connecting fine and you're still having a problem with the Versa, make sure you reach out to Fitbit. They have a support form on their website and they also have tech support that you can reach out to. It may just be an issue with the antenna in the watch itself, just not detecting your Wi-Fi signal. So guys, if you have a step that I didn't mention in this video that you used to resolve the problem, go ahead and share that in the comment section below. And until then, if you want to check out our review on the Fitbit Versa 2, like I said, go ahead and click on this video here. This is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, peace.